Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? Um, welcome to Sherelle's World. I know I'm not the face that you normally see on this channel, but um, unfortunately she couldn't be here today due to COVID. And uh, I'm gonna get some time for people to come in. But I, I wanna wish uh, all you guys out there a happy Valentine's Day. It's not the one that I wish that I had today, but you know, it is life, so. It is what it is. But um, basically, I'm here. I just really um, want to come on here to all her supporters and to Angela Dean to truly say thank you for all the support and stuff that uh, we've received from her. And um, it's really important. It's not like a TV show or a recap or something like that. Um, it's basically one of those situations that I truly support and thank all you guys for all the things that you do for her, the support you give her, not just for views and stuff, just for personal health and things like that. Angela Dean went out there for the last two days and really prayed for my wife, did these things, and a lot of uh, the supporters did the same thing. And I truly just want to say thank you. Because at the end of the day, you know, we all breathe air just like everybody else. And I just basically just really truly want to say thank you. I mean, for all the support. And um, um, she's uh, resting now. She has some good periods. For people who want to know, then she has some down periods. She might get up for an hour, feel pretty good, and then the next few hours feel like she's going to die, to be honest with you. you know, I mean, that's just how this thing goes, right? But um, my prayers go out to my wife. It goes out to everybody that can be affected by this COVID and then things like that. And... Before I bring callers up or whatever, but I just wanted to say that I'm truly thankful. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm for people who don't know, I'm her husband, Perry Sanders. So it's not for a view. I mean, it's like this woman is my 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 life. She, I mean, I mean, she's my rock. You know what I'm saying? So at this time, it's not that easy, but. Hopefully we can make it through it like others have, you know. Um, yeah, thanks for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. But um, hmm, don't really. I, I know. I, I, uh, basically, I know a lot of you guys just wonder how she's feeling and stuff. It, it's she's up and down. I try to respond to most of you from my Instagram but I haven't really had the chance to go to her. So I know she could be backed up with a whole bunch of Instagrams and stuff. It's not that she's blowing you off. She's really not well. And it's my son and my wife that have it. So I'm too busy just trying to just bounce around and actually make sure they're okay. So if I, if I miss your uh, DM and stuff like that, I try to catch up with it, but it's just basically a rough time right now in our life you know what i mean it's like a rough time but hopefully uh with the prayers and stuff that we'll overcome this and we'll be back in a week or two or something you know i don't know when so um but i really want to thank angela dean because she's really went out there a really sweet person it's really nice to meet somebody like angela you know what i'm saying like She's just a nice person. I know everybody can have their doubts about her, this and that. But, I mean, she's a really sweet person. And I'm very thankful for her. Um, I'm going to drop the link and see if anybody want to ask some questions. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here, but I just want to pop on and say thanks for all your support and everything else. <clears throat> That's pretty much um, what I got going on right now. Let me see. I'm not used to her setup. Mine is totally different. So I dropped the link. See if anybody want to come up. Let me see. Oh, no, I was worried about. 
was COVID. Yeah, it's COVID, but hopefully things will be okay. Let me see. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that, Blobby. Let me see. What I got? What's hey, up, what's up, Harry? Hey, how you doing? Finally taking off work. Hallelujah. <laughs> you said finally getting off work? I bet. You I'll you bet. Oh. Are you dragging, baby? Can you are you freezing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Okay. I'm trying to just move this. I ain't used to her setup, so. Huh, where is this? Damn, mouse at. Jasmine, go ahead and talk to me while I try to figure this out. People dying from COVID, honestly, people would have paid attention. None of this would have happened, honestly. Huh? If people would have paid attention and learned how to clean themselves, none of this would have happened. Well, you know, now I would say this, though. That could be true, right? Like with this stuff, we wear a mask. Everywhere I go, I wear a mask and I do all this stuff. And my younger son go out and do things. He say he's wearing a mask, but yeah, I mean, really, truly, you never know. I think the mask is not 100%. And, you know, I don't know. But hold on, let me see. God bless Sherelle and the family and Perry. I will definitely be keeping you in my prayers. Much love from Northern Ireland. Hey, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Brownstone. Let me see. Feel better soon. We want Sherelle to get some much needed rest. She needs to focus on feeling better. Thank you. You're 100% right about that. I'm, I'm trying to make it to where she can rest. So hopefully she can. But Jasmine, you know, it's like this, right? Like, I can't say where. Um, you can wear a mask and still get it. But the mask, I think, truly protects you more than anything else. And I can sit here and really say my son brought it home because I can look at him and say, well, maybe he could have got careless when he was out running around, you know, with his friends. But, hell, it could be me just going to the grocery store with my mask on. So I can't say who gave it to who. And at this point, I think it's probably irrelevant who gave it to who. I just know they got it. And it's not a good thing. I, I, you know, basically, I can't wait till this whole thing is actually over. You know what I'm saying? Where we can just get the vaccine or whatever and just clear this thing up, like polio or whatever else, the monks or whatever they had. But you know what I'm saying? I, I don't truly know. But the only thing I know is that times aren't really that easy because, like, it's almost like times like now. Nobody ever think their life gonna change in a day. And basically for me, that's sort of what happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. I go from laughing, you know, which I love to do, and just having fun to damn, you know, this is serious. You know what I'm saying? And um uh, that's pretty much where we at, you know. And I just want to thank everybody because I get a lot of support. So, well, Sherelle and my son get a lot of support. People just calling in, even for me, you know what I'm saying? Wishing me well. And it's my way just coming back, letting them know, hey, I haven't blew you off. I heard your messages and I truly appreciate it. You know. Well, Perry, I, I, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We all love Sherelle. We don't mm -hmm. know your son like that. Right. We're all praying for him. Uh -huh. I'm just here to make sure you are right because you the rock of the family now. You got to take care of them. You got to take care of yourself at the same yeah. time. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Um, I mean, for please, the most part, please I mean, be most, safe. I mean, I mean, I mean, for the most part, I do okay. Yeah. But it's just hard to see your wife and kids suffer like that. Yeah. I mean, that's just a hard thing. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, Perry, you have 200,000 plus prayers going out to you and your family. We all rooting for you guys. And as a person who just got over COVID, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to do, and your family just got to do everything you guys can to get this virus to pass through your system. But you got many of us praying for you and your family. 
Uh, no, I didn't really. I don't know if I sanitized her work spot, but at this point, to be honest with you, like even at home with my wife and son, I try to be careful, but to, you know, to be honest with you, if anything was going to happen to them, mm -hmm. I, I, I would want it to happen to me too. So, uh, as far as me protecting myself, it's like whatever. Because, like I said, that is my life. So, it is I, what it is. You know, I feel, I feel you, Perry. And the reason why I say that, so what I said is they need you right now to be healthy. Right. We need yeah. you to be healthy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. No, no, I get it. No, I mean, uh, I get what you're saying, you know, like, and I'm trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, I don't know. If they yeah, remember I told you, get that vitamin C, that zinc, and the vitamin D, and keep her hydrated. Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying, uh, and a lot of people send me a lot of stuff, too, and, and most time, I really do try. I, I went out and got the EXO thing for her oxygen. To check that. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that people giving me pointers that, that I really do uh, truly appreciate. And then I check with the doctor on Monday for that nebulizer or some kind of machine. I think mm -hmm. Dr. told me about. So I'm doing what I can, you know. And then um, I try to fill in for her whenever she got something important going on on her channel until she can get well. I'm not going to be surreal because that's not me. But I would do whatever I can just to keep things sort of moving until we get to that point. Yeah. Just don't overdo it, Perry. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jasmine, let me drop you for a second. I'm going to bring up V, okay? Hey, V. Hey, Perry. Uh, hey. I just wanted to thank everybody, too, because uh, we've been getting a lot of support from all uh, Sherelle's subscribers and people that love and care about her. And uh, uh, we are, we're all trying to just stay strong. Uh, be a family, a team, and uh, just trying to get through this difficult time. So we do really appreciate everything that everybody's doing and all the concern and love that's going out for uh, Sherelle and, and Perry and the family to, to, to recover from this. But uh, please take this serious. COVID is not a joke. It's a, something that a lot of people think that it can happen to the other person, but not to them. So it's something that you have to really, really be careful because you you don't want to get it. You don't want to catch it. So um, I'm just up here to support Perry and the family and to just thank everybody for being such um, supporters to always to Sherelle and our team. Yeah, no, I agree. We I love mean, you guys, B. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> love now, you too. You know, we love y'all and we love all the uh subscribers also. You know, I mean, and oftentimes too, like with a time like this, I realize that it's times where we might go where we don't go and show our appreciation. Mm -hmm. We get caught up into whatever, yeah. you know, it's from YouTube drama to just everyday life, you know. Hey, thanks, Gene. And uh Gene. But it's times like this is where I really can feel that you guys are there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it. Perry, you guys show your appreciation every time you guys come on the channel. You know, it's been a year of boredom, and you guys have helped us get through this pandemic, and we really appreciate it. No, thank you. It's nice to hear that. Yeah, thank you for that. So yeah, well. It's nice to hear because, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's just so much that goes along with this whole thing. But at this point, I'm not even getting into social media stuff. I don't think I know. It's just a woman I love for over 35 years. You know what I'm saying? 
in his heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. It's not easy. You know, yeah. Sherelle's tough and she's a fighter. You know, she's tough. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Know. Yeah. And then on the brighter side, when, when she gets past this, she'll have the antibodies in her system. Mm. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's something to think about, too. Yeah. And then maybe I always wonder why I haven't got it, but maybe I already had it. I think I was sick a month ago. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, so maybe I already had it. I don't know. But Thank you, Jalen. At a certain point, though, it's like people say, well, make sure you protect yourself. I, I get it because I need somebody to take care of the family. But at the same time. We're doing what we can. You know, you wash your hands, yeah. wear your mask. Uh, try to distance yourself from everybody, and that's that's what we got to fight with, you know. And, yeah, and yeah, no, I get it, but it, I mean, basically, I could never imagine my life without put it that way. So, she ain't going nowhere. I know, I mean, hopefully, not, you know, what I'm saying, hopefully, it's a thing, but yeah. it just hate, to, I just it's hard to see them suffer like that. Yeah, that's the hard part. And when, you know, they look at the husband and you can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you're doing something. You're doing something. You're the yeah, person. But, you know, guys, look, y'all on the panel and we all know, we feel like when our lady needs something, we should be the person that fix it. We the mm -hmm. fixers. When you can't fix it, it hurts. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I already can hear with her testimonial when she get out of this and she's going to say, Perry was really there for me. Already, I hear her voice saying that, bro. Yeah, so he's always he's always there for her. The period yep. is always always there for her and and the family. So, um, she's got a good man. So, and she appreciates him. So, and Perry, you yeah. guys are a great example of black love and a and a positive black family structure. You know, and we need more images out there like you guys. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, or not. Hey, what's up, DJ? I'm sorry, uh, D Brook. Hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, D -D. I just want to say my, my prayers are out for your family. And you know, I support you guys more than general. I know you are a great man. You serve our country. And we thank you for serving your country. And mm -hmm. we just hope you guys get ready to you. Just continue doing what you're doing and stay strong. You know, your wife will, she will get better. Yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate it, brother. You know, and I guess the fear don't really come from just her being like that. It's just me seeing the news every day, just seeing many people losing their loved ones and stuff like that from this COVID. I mean, I'm saying it's just hard. And because like you said, yeah. most people think, okay, well, that happened across town. You know what I'm saying? They, they never think it hit their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And you really don't really look at it on the surface, you can look at it and say, yeah, it's real until it hits your household. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. when you feel it. You know, so it's just yeah. a weird thing. Well, that's why I'm one. trying to say, that's why I'm trying to express to everybody. If you haven't taken this serious before, please take it serious. Please mm -hmm. wear a mask when you leave the house. Wash your hands when you go, when you come. Use the sanitizers all those things to try to protect and fight against it because that's all we have to protect and fight against it if you get it you just got it you know mm -hmm. there's no there's no, nothing they can give you nothing they can you can take to help it it's not like the flu i mean so you just right. have to ride yeah. ride it out yeah. yeah and for those of you that don't like watching the news just go to cdc.gov all the information mm -hmm. is there and like mm -hmm. you said the social distancing is important Cause that's how yeah. I got it with was going to clubs and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah it's very important. It's so easy to forget, you know, like when you get out around people, you feel comfortable, having a good time, having fun. You you forget that. Hey, wait a minute, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and that 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 disease is not playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't forget. Yeah. So, and I just say that thanks for all your support because I'm not. Truly, every time I look in this monitor, it reminds me of my wife because I'm not used to seeing this background with my face on it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. nobody unless, on unless you're sitting next to her and she's in that right, chair. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just a 
it's one of those things. And like I said, it's Valentine's Day. And like I said, I wish you guys the best. Hope mm -hmm. you have a wonderful one. And um, but I just wanted to come on because I know I had plenty of calls and stuff, and I didn't want to seem like I we wasn't appreciative of all the support yes. and things like that. So I just figured I'd just jump on her channel because my channel wouldn't do the same. You know what I'm saying? And let her people know this mm -hmm. is what's going on. Like she got ups and down moments. I might catch an hour when she's feeling pretty good. And then the next three or four, she's down, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, hopefully it's something that hopefully in a week, I don't know, a week or two, she's better. You know, okay. not hopefully she will be better. We're gonna think positive. Yeah, yeah. she will Absolutely. be better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we can get back to having fun the way we used to. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it takes times like this for people to really realize who they have in their corner, and we really glad that we got all the supporters and stuff like that in her corner because typically people will come for good times. And never around for the bad. And uh, you guys are truly appreciated. Angela Dean, I mean, and and I, I say her name because like she's the one on name day fiance and got a bigger platform. But but just the individual supporter, I don't care if you in whatever state, what small city, whatever, you appreciate it. But Angela Dean went out there and and she's really like one of the people that uh it was just surprising to see her come out and do what she did because she didn't have to. Just mm -hmm. like you guys don't have to check in and stuff like that and do what you guys do. But it, it was just amazing, and I, I truly appreciate it. Yeah. Just yeah, because I saw, what she, I, saw what, yeah. I saw what she did, she did on Instagram, and then it was really good what she mm -hmm. did. And then she, she said she was pretty for Cheryl, and that was really nice what she did. I saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... It's very good to feel supported at, at times like this. And and Sherelle's always had a, a big audience and people that just genuinely care about her and love her and are here when she needs the support. And we appreciate that. Yep. So I don't know what else to say. Uh, hopefully we'll see how she... Take it day by day, see how she feel. If certain interviews come on, maybe I try to do them for her, whatever. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I'm not Sherelle. But <laughs> we'll do different things. But um, And hopefully um, get you on my show, whatever. I mean, you know, I get the, you know, I can't really sort of wait the Tuesday because personally, I need to outlet myself. I need mm -hmm. time. <laughs> to be able to laugh and get away. And hopefully on Tuesday that'll happen. Um, hmm. Don't overdo it, though. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to try not thank to. Thank you, Maya. Is it yeah, Maya thanks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh, anybody got anything else? No, I said about all I need, needed to say. We're praying. Thank you, Brownstone. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, as I said earlier, everybody that vitamin, and as Maya just said, that vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D, you guys, is really, really good for your immune system. Even if you don't got it, you guys need to get on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And stay hydrated, right? Stay hydrated. hydrated. That part. Yeah. Yeah. And like, like we said, just, just stick to washing your hands, sanitizing, wearing a mask, and just think of people around you. Your social uh -huh. distancing and just keep it that way. And then Cheryl will be back. We, we all rooting for, we all praying for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She'll be back. And prayers out to uh and Uncle Vicky also. I mean, she had it really bad too. And I think mm -hmm. she's still recovering. So, I mean, it's just so many people. But I'm just saying, yeah. in, in the social media thing that I know, I know Uncle Vicky got it. And, you know, it's just not good, but uh, thank you, Danielle. Really, I guess I'm here to just say this I truly appreciate everybody that comes along and support my wife. 
that means the world to me. And I truly appreciate it. Like I said, Ch Cheryl's very strong. And so she's she's a fighter. And so we're all in her corner and hoping, you know, that she gets through this soon. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so thank you for all the prayers. Yeah, for real. I mean, that's important. Okay, well. I'm not going to stay no longer. I mean, I might be going to check on them and make sure they good. But uh, like I said, I check in maybe, I don't know, three days at least. If something happened, I, you know, I sort of let you guys know how she feeling. But thanks uh, for all the support. Truly appreciate it. And we're going to go ahead and get off of here, okay? So on three, we'll say right. bye to everybody. One, two, three. Bye, everyone. Bye, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, hold on. Well, I can't get off. I, I don't know how to <laughs> talk <her name. laughs> If you started it. You I'm sorry. I, I can't. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> I mean, hers is different. She got a different setup than what I got. Hey, bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>